Welcome back interior Alaska. It's time for your local Wednesday sports cast. The snow came a little early this year, but it's good to turn the clock back to warmer times. Talking summer baseball helps. This week, the Alaska Gold Panthers announced they will break away from the Alaska Baseball League in 2016. Instead, the storied local franchise will play as an independent. That's important because that will allow the team to play in the high profile National Baseball Congress World Series. Alaska was an independent back in 2011. The ABL's top of the world series overlaps with the NBC World Series. The Gold Panthers will still play some ABL teams, but will head to the NBC tournament in Wichita, Kansas, late July, early August. The Panthers swept the Seattle Studs this summer, and the Studs won the last NBC title. Alaska has six NBC World Series titles in program history. Their last one was back in 2002. The Gold Panthers finished 14 and 33 overall and 9 and 31 in the ABL this past summer after winning back-to-back -back league titles in 2013 and 2014. Now the ABL is down to five teams. The Alaska Natick hockey team will have a prime time game in front of a national audience in 2016. The WCHA will be featured on the American Sports Network this season. Alaska hockey will be televised when they visit the University of Alabama Huntsville Chargers on Friday, January 8th. This is one of two WCHA games that will appear on the network. The other date pits Lake Superior State against Michigan Tech on Friday, February 5th. UAF received one vote in the first USCHO.com poll of the year. Poll was released on Monday. The Nanex are one of 16 teams to receive votes ranked outside the top 20. Three conference teams are in the top 20. Minnesota State is sixth in the poll, followed by Michigan Tech at 15 and Bowling Green at 16. The Knicks went 19, 13 and two last season. They host Mount Royal this Sunday at three o'clock at the Carlson Center. UAF Volleyball starts their week of home games on Thursday night against the St. Martin Saints. The Nooks will look to get healthy against the Saints. Alaska has been victorious their last three matchups with St. Martins and swept the season series last year. The Saints are 2-8 and eight overall and 1-3 and three in conference play so far, but they are 0-7 oh away from their home court. Alaska comes in 0 for 11 overall and 0 for 4 in the GNAC. They're still posting great numbers. They just haven't turned it into wins yet. The, Nan the Nanooks are the best serving team in the GNAC. They lead the conference with 77 aces led by sophomore Riley Padevich, who has 23 of them, and she leads the league. As far as the Sam Hartoon kill counter goes, she's third in the GNAC with 142 kills. And so far this year, and she is now 136 kills away from tying the program career record. This match starts at 7 p.m. on Alaska Airlines Court at the Patty Center. Saturday, Alaska will host Seattle Pacific. Today would have been the first day of wrestling practice, but there was no school today. However, the schedule for the 2015 season of wrestling is out. The week of October 20th is all about wrestling. Tuesday, October 21st, the first interior meet is hosted by Allison and Delta North Pole and Hutchinson will battle. That Wednesday, Latham and West Valley will duel for the first time. Then the Wolf Pack hosts the West Valley Tournament that weekend. The infamous Hutchinson Meltdowns is November 13th and 14th. And Lathrop, they will host the Lathrop Duels on December 5th to close out the regular season. Conference championships will be decided on Saturday, December 12th in Valdez for 3A and North Pole for 4A. The big change for wrestling teams this year is that the 4A and 3A season will be combined. The state championships for 3A and 4A wrestling will be December 18th and 19th at Bartlett and Chugiak High School. We wrap things up with the winner of the Pro Football Challenge for Week 3. This week's winner is Scott Shearer. Congratulations, Scott. You won a large one-topping pizza from Pizza Hut for some dinner for a future time. Scott led the field with an incredible 15 out of 16 picks right, one away from a perfect week of picks. He knows what he's doing. As we look at the PFC standings, Arctic Fireman and the Fins are tied at 34 points for the top spot. Brewster's tied with six others for second place. Spanky is in third place, and Malamu02 is in fourth. Gotta like these usernames. I got 11 picks right this week, and I have 24 overall. Mike Fussell's bringing up the rear with eight points. Get your picks in for week four. Thursday night's football game is Baltimore at Pittsburgh for an AFC North rivalry game. And that's it for sports tonight. For more KTVF Sports, follow us on Twitter, watch us on YouTube, get the latest on our mobile app, and of course, webcenter11.com. Mike Schultz is next with your full weather forecast, and as always, we'll catch you next time.